now we're on the cusp of the new season. How would you describe your emotions at this moment? Excitement, um, energy, and uh, can't wait to, to see the team competing in the Premier League after the preseason. I think we put so much work and effort in the last few weeks uh, to get the best possible preparation, and now uh, you want to see the outcome. So, ready for the kickoff. How much more exciting does this season feel because of the fans? Fans will be back and be playing in packed stadiums once again. Well, hopefully, completely different. Uh, it's something that uh, we missed, um, and certainly since I arrived here, because we haven't had the chance to have them. Uh, right behind the team and uh, feeling their support uh, on match days. So I always said that they are the soul of this football club and we need them next to it. And the impact that they can have, it's something that uh, it cannot be quantified. We don't know what it is, but it's so powerful. And, um, and we have an advantage with other teams because of the fans and support that we have. We have to use it. So we need to really connect with them. They need to engage with the team and um, and embrace. And after goals, I think um, we'll be much better as a team. In what ways do you think the fans can make a difference? Is it just the, the, the energy that they can transmit to the team in one tackle, one, one moment can completely change the game? I think it's the energy. I think it's the positivity. I think it's uh, the belief. I think it's protection. When you are on that ground, and I experienced it myself at the Emirates, and the crowd gets going and you feel their support, the energy, that's something driving you forward. There is not thinking. It's pure passion and, and love for what you do. And when you are in that mode, you think, yeah, we are unstoppable. We are much stronger. And uh, and it's a sense of, of protections and, and the confidence races and things flow much better. I think it's a, a unique feeling that um, hopefully we can experience it every time we are in, in the ground. And from a personal perspective, it'll be so nice for you to be in front of fans because you've been in charge for 20 months. I think you've been in front of fans for 10 weeks of that. So it'll be, it's been such a strange start for you, hasn't it? Yeah, and in, in very patches and not with full stadiums at all. So um, it's, a, it's an emotion as well that, uh, that I want to feel um, as a manager of the football club and, uh, and see that connection. That will really make me proud when I see that connection again between supporters and players and, and both feeling, yeah, um, I would like to use the word proud of what they do one for each other, probably. Looking back at pre-season for a moment, you spoke about how important it was going to be to, to work with the players for an extended period of time. So how much did you and your staff learn about the players and the team in, in that period? Yes, a lot. Um, we had five weeks. I think we started five weeks ago to do our preparation. To, um, we worked so hard with them to try to, to get them every tool, every necessary tool that they need to compete the best possible way. And now it's time to compete now okay probably without their knowing um, they have this uh, this thin rain in, on them and without their knowing they are fully prepared and now it's about competing doing what you have to do win duels um, be in the front foot and, uh, and go tomorrow and just have one thing in your mind is do the best as you can and win that football match how much of the work over pre-season was tactical and how much is this physical there were a lot of things to put in place as well, things related to our culture, the leadership group that, um, that we need around, around the place. The rules are constantly changing, so we know that we're going to have to adapt. So we have moments where our training ground was almost shot, another time where the training ground was completely open. We lost a player, we lose three players, we lose so many members of the staff. We know that in this environment, we're going to have to be adaptable. And after adaptable, we can analyze and we can uh, make other different decisions. And that's, I think, where we can be a stronger this season because we had time as well to speak about those things and experience them. As you said, you've had, you've had five weeks with the players, you've assessed the squad. Do you know roughly where you, where you want to add to it over the coming weeks, where you might want to trim it as well? Because it's yeah. quite a, a large squad at the moment. For where the squad is today to where it will be at the end of the transfer window, um, I don't know how similar it's going to be. Uh, we're going to do more things in and out. I don't know, but our focus has been on, on working with the players that we have, making their own, that they believe they can be here and treat everybody um, respectfully in the best possible way. So while they are here, 
um, try to help them as much as possible and make them feel part of the team. How tough has this transfer window been generally for clubs across Europe, apart from if you're PSG, I guess, but how tough has it been for everyone to, to deal with the pandemic and the effects? It is very tough because um, I think if we talk about us, um, you know the necessity um, that the team has and the improvements that we have to make, uh, not only uh, to improve the actual starting eleven, but the squad and put the play the, the squad in a much healthier position. And at the same time, financially, we need to be very cautious because we need a model that is sustainable for the football club. And uh, in this pandemic, with everything that had happened in the last 20 months, um, that's a big ask to do. But um, we are trying to make uh, all those decisions the best possible way. We are all aligned and, and hopefully the outcome is going to be really positive. Obviously, no European football this season, but there's been a lot of talk from pundits and so on about how it will be a big benefit to you because you will have that midweek rest. Do you see it that way? Well, we have no choice. We have no Europe, so we have to make the most of uh, the schedule that we have and uh, and try to use it. Okay, the advantage is when we can have them and, uh, and focus on the Premier League, which is going to be the main priority now. And just finally, what lessons have you learned from last season? personally and, and and what gives you confidence about the upcoming campaign? Well, the lessons uh, now is that uh, planning a lot of things uh, in this world, it's uh, sometimes wasting your time because uh, a lot of things have happened that uh, nobody could ever expect and uh, that you have to be ready to act and uh, you have to make decisions quickly and you have to be ready to adapt. and. Uh, I think we have a really strong team, uh, not only with the players, but as well with the staff that we have created with many different backgrounds of, of qualities. And we are ready to, to go for anything that comes up.